and today we're going to be diving deep into the 2020 presidential election and today we're going to do it um we're going to do this series one by one by the swing states and today's state is the state of arizona so we're going to be looking at polling data and past election results to see what are the chances and odds for each candidate to have a victory and where are the specific places that they need to win to win the election so first we're going to start looking at the polls and honestly first thing i can tell you joe Biden is currently leading in the polls and with the latest polls taken, so these have been actually pretty recent polls compared to other um, states. And because we haven't received that many polling data. So with the latest ones we have received, um, we can say that, first of all, the Biden campaign has a nice lead in the state of Arizona. But personally, I think it's a little bit too close for comfort. Let's say you average out this um, margin of error. That's around 3 to 4%. That means that essentially it's at a tie. Um if it were in, in margin of error so this election will be very different and we've seen this election was always going to be tight plus five plus two plus three tie plus two there was a time that joe biden was leading pretty constantly with six eight nine and seven but i don't think that these are necessarily correct i mean when it comes to election day voters might be feeling different and maybe some areas are under polled. But still, it's very important to see that um, Joe Biden has a current lead. And honestly, similarly to the Senate race that of the video I made um, yesterday, um, probably going to be seeing a lot of these different things and different data. So this is just compare um, two election results. And so this is going to be the Arizona Senate election because that was like the first like showing of how Arizona is trending a lot more blue. And we're going to compare that to the 2016 presidential results. So, when it comes to this, um, let's just look at the maps for a couple seconds. So, I'm just going to go flip back through them. So, this is 2018, 2016, 2018, and 2016. There we go. So, first thing we can see, Phoenix, Maricopa County, is going to be the crucial decider of this election. Look at the margins and look at the things. Maricopa County, it went to Martha Mix, um, to Kirsten, Kirsten Cinema for, for about three points, for four points about. So just about four points. And how, how did it go for Donald Trump? It was around four points as well. It's a little bit closer. It's just three, but still pretty close. But nationwide, you almost had a three-point difference. That's almost a three-point difference. So what are we seeing here? Well, what we're seeing here is something very interesting and is that Maricopa County kind of directly affected how someone like Kirsten Cinema won in 2016. And if Joe Biden wants a chance of winning this election and winning the state of Arizona, it's going to be through Maricopa County. And I think that's no question. Looking at this election compared to the other election and looking at the map, honestly, if Donald Trump wants to win, he just needs to pull up his margins, mar margins in Yuma County and pull up his margins over there, anywhere, everywhere else, and narrowly hold on to Phoenix. The moment that someone like Joe Biden wins Maricopa County, for example, like in this scenario where Kirsten Cinema beat Martha McSally by four points, honestly, it's going to be hard coming around and finding the places with votes out for them to go and win. The Arizona voter, I think, is a very important group. I mean, they're one of those voters that are very bipartisan. They're not afraid of voting, not voting down ballot. They're, they, they easily vote, I'm going to vote, I don't know, for president, I'm going to vote for the Democrats. But for governor, I'll vote for the Republicans. Um, for Senate, I'll vote for these people. For the mayor, I'm going to vote for this person. And that truly shows with the Arizona voter. And that's why you have some people like from the Arizona, like um, the former Senator John McCain, who was so bipartisan. And I think it's just how the state runs itself in morality and things like that. So... Crucially, I think it's going to be very tough for Donald Trump to win here. I mean, it's not impossible. I think if um, between the Senate race and the presidential race, Donald Trump has a lot bigger chance than Martha McSally. Martha McSally is on, on a sh sinking ship. Well, Donald Trump is and he's going through rocky waters. So he might be in a sinking ship soon. But currently he's on um, rocky waters that he can still navigate and lead to the victory. I think at this point, someone like Martha McSally is out the window, and I explained that in my other video, but still. Now, I mean, 
there's many different things that we can notice here. Also, is that like in Yuma County, Democrats are losing a lot of their vote. Very close, I mean, in in 2016. Not so close in 2018. So there are these places that if Democrats want to win, they have to bring up their margins in Phoenix, in Tucson, and in their other counties like Coxy, Conino, um, Apache, and Santa Cruz County. And Dem- Republicans, if you want to win, they have to win in Yuma County, La Paz County, Mojave County, Jeffapai County. I'm sorry if I'm botching those names. I'm really sorry. Coach Size County, Greenlee County, and Graham County. So these are going to be the places where Republicans will focus. These rural areas of Arizona, where there is mostly Native American vote. Because a lot of these places have, have very big Native American populations. And I think those are especially in Mojave and Yavapai. And this, yeah, it's generally this area back here, like these three counties, It's and then down here in the southeastern part of the state. So looking forward, and I mean... My prediction for this is that Joe Biden will win narrowly, and um, this is as of, um, I don't know what dates today, it's June 8th. So as of June 8th, I think Joe Biden will be on track to winning this election. Margins, I don't really know. But at the end of the day, I honestly think that it's all going to be a matter of time spent in Arizona and the relationships you can build with Arizona voters. So, I mean, it's really going to have to end up being Phoenix, Maricopa County, and that's the thing you guys are going to hear on election day and leading up to election day. Maricopa County, when they're talking about Arizona. Because that's where Phoenix is, and that's where all the major suburbs are. Because, look, the rest of the counties are pretty rural, except maybe here there's a flag Flagstaff. Here's Tucson. And that's it. That's Phoenix, and that's it. Everything else is pretty much country and Native American reservations, which, um, in it of itself, they're not that populated. They have nice populations. There's, for example, nice chunks of vote. I mean, here is fifty thousand votes for the Republicans. That's like seventy thousand votes in total. Here, there's more. There's almost nearly a hundred thousand votes. In this county, Gila County, there's only twenty thousand votes, thirty thousand votes. This is a little more. This was all like 30,000 votes. Here so there's a bigger chunk. And in Phoenix, there's also a huge chunk of votes. So at the end of the day, Democrats, if Joe Biden wants to win this, he's going to have to, A, get ahead. And which he is. And keep his lead. Connect with the Arizona voter and have enough ads and things like that to just keep on kind of helping them. And honestly, Martha McSally, um, not Martha McSally, my bad, Kirsten Cinema will end up helping Joe Biden in the state because she's a very popular senator. I mean, she's not as popular as John McCain, but still, she's pretty popular among Arizona voters. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And I think today is the last, no, tomorrow is the last day to fill in the pre-giveaway form and the subscriber decided to election night form so the, the link will be down in the description and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you're not currently subscribed please consider doing so because there's a many great content coming ahead and guys i think i'm gonna start working on a upload schedule and i think honestly i'm going to make this promise right now um don't take me fully on it but it's looking like i'm going to be able to post one election night a week maybe two or three um but yeah and then we're gonna do a lot more things like predictions and we're gonna go through the whole list of states that are swing states when it comes to senate and presidential election and we're gonna go through all the individual videos of predictions and things like that so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye